dive into the inky depths of the ocean, where sunlight fades and a different kind of magic begins. Welcome to the world of bioluminescence, a living light show created by the sea's most mysterious inhabitants. On this magical journey, we will voyage into the eternal night of the deep to meet creatures that transform the darkness into a starry spectacle. Walruses are incredibly social and are almost always found in large, noisy groups called herds. These herds can sometimes number in the thousands. Walrus is a large marine mammal that lives in the cold Arctic regions. Walrus's skin is incredibly thick and wrinkled, and it can be up to four inches thick in places. Narwhals are often called unicorns of the sea because of their long spiral tusk, which is actually an enlarged front tooth. Narwhals live in the icy waters of the Arctic Ocean around Canada, Greenland, Norway, and Russia. Stingrays are related to sharks. Like their cousins, their skeletons are made of cartilage, not bone. Stingrays are not naturally aggressive. They use their stinger purely in self-defense, typically when they are accidentally stepped on or threatened. Seals are marine mammals, which means they breathe air, give birth to live young, and feed them milk. Just like whales and dolphins, seals can sleep underwater. They shut down half their brain at a time. One half rests, while the other keeps them alert to breathe and avoid danger. Seal pups are born with fluffy white fur, Frogs begin their life in water as tadpoles, which have gills and a tail. They undergo a remarkable transformation called metamorphosis to develop lungs and legs for life on land. Frog skin can breathe and absorb water, which are being studied for human medicine. Hammerhead shark is one of the most easily recognizable creatures in the ocean due to its unique head shape, which is called a cephalofoil. Hammerhead's head is covered in special jelly-filled pores called the ampullae of Lorenzini. Hammerhead sharks are highly social. Goblin shark is a deep-sea predator known for its unique and frightening appearance. It is often called a living fossil because it is the last remaining member of a shark family that dates back over 125 million years. Lobsters are crustaceans, just like crabs and shrimp. They live on the ocean floor and crawl around using their strong legs. Lobsters have two main claws. One is the crusher, for breaking shells, and the other is the pincher. Seashells are animal homes, not the animals themselves. Most are the outer shells of marine mollusks like snails,
clams, and oysters. Seashells for thousands of years as tools, jewelry, art, currency, and even musical instruments like conch horns. Snails are mollusks, just like clams and octopuses. They have soft bodies protected by a hard spiral shell. Snails are super slow. Most garden snails move only about 0.3 miles per hour. That's less than 2 inches per second. Snails can live on land, The fin whale is one of the fastest of all the large whales. When it needs to, it can sustain speeds of over 25 miles per hour and burst even faster. Fin whales are known for their incredibly deep and low frequency vocalizations. Crabs are crustaceans, related to lobsters and shrimp, and have ten legs. The front two are claws, called chile. Crabs are omnivores, eating algae, plants, worms, fish, and even dead animals. Whales are not fish. They are marine mammals. This means they are warm-blooded, breathe air through lungs, give birth to live young, and produce milk to feed their babies. Whales are divided into two main groups, baleen and toothed. Baleen whales, like the blue whale, Dolphins use a sophisticated sonar ability called echolocation to navigate and hunt in the water. Dolphins are not fish. They are marine mammals. Dolphins are voluntary breathers, meaning they must consciously decide to come to the surface to breathe. Orcas have a truly global distribution and are the most widespread marine mammal after humans. Orcas are apex predators, meaning they are at the very top of the food chain and have no natural predators. Orcas live in complex and stable social groups called pods, which are often led by the oldest female, the matriarch. Penguins are flightless birds that are highly adapted for life in the water. Their wings have evolved into stiff, flat flippers that they use to fly through the ocean with incredible speed and agility. Penguins live in a wide range of habitats in the southern hemisphere. Turtle is a reptile characterized by its bony or cartilaginous shell. This shell acts as a protective shield for its body. Turtles have been on Earth for an incredibly long time. They first evolved over 200 million years ago. Turtles are omnivores. What a turtle eats depends entirely on its species and habitat. Ducks are aquatic birds that live near ponds, lakes, rivers, and marshes. They belong to the Anatidae family, which also includes geese and swans. 
Ducks have a special oil gland near their tails. This keeps them dry and warm, even when swimming all day. Ducks are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and small animals. Their diet includes grass, seeds, insects, snails, and small fish. Clownfish live in coral reefs, mostly in the warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, including the Great Barrier Reef. Clownfish lay eggs on flat surfaces near their anemones, and the male guards and fans them until they hatch. It often means the coral reef ecosystem is in trouble. Octopuses have eight arms covered in suction cups, which they use to taste, touch, and grip objects. Unlike squids, octopuses don't have tentacles, just arms. Octopuses have three hearts. Two pump blood to the gills, and one pumps it to the rest of the body. Octopuses are one of the smartest invertebrates. They can solve puzzles, navigate mazes, open jars, and even recognize individual humans. Octopuses have eight arms covered in suction cups, which they use to taste, touch, and grip objects. We will discover that this beautiful light is not just for show, it is a vital tool for survival in the planet's largest habitat. We'll learn how some creatures use their glow to attract a meal, while others use a sudden flash of light to startle a predator and make a quick escape. 